absolutely i mean i think i think the most common uh, method of treatment followed in the world over is the treat and extend regime uh, which is still not the ideal when you compare the monthly regime of the trials but uh, yes i think if we have good biosimilars which are cheaper uh, i think patients won't mind taking uh, more frequent injections if they are maintaining good visual acuity I think the treat and extend is still not probably the ideal therapy because we are still looking for some therapies or some molecules which would have an extended duration of activity which would reduce the number of injections uh, and with treat and extend you know there are issues of how we would monitor these patients the increased number of frequency versus the number of injections and these are the issues which are taken into considerations uh, there's a lot of office visits office work it's a big burden not only to the patient but also to the support group of the patient the relatives they have to come down travel long distances so i think issues are still there so we're looking for molecules which would give us longer durability and then we could go into a more fixed regime with those molecules rather than a treat and extend regime we are probably looking at some uh, sustained release delivery devices or implants where we could just put in these anti vegfs inject it into the eye and have a very long sustained duration of action and I, i i think that's the way to go i mean uh, i'm sure there are a lot of uh, opportunities for that in the future and uh, some uh, implants in the pipeline too so i think that's that's very exciting to know and in future i think it's not just going to be one drug i think we are going to play around with multiple drugs and combinations and the best way for that particular patient uh, which could provide the best results with uh, the least number of injections and the least number of uh, clinic visits